Good afternoon, it's Bruce. Welcome to my shop. Uh, this is the, uh, the third in the series of uh, the weekend special uh, gauge making and tool making job. Um, I, uh, I made up, made up the, uh, the pin uh, with a 64mm thread and everything and now I've uh, completed the nut. Now, uh, briefly, <coughs> because, I, because this has to be very accurate, um, all of these facets here uh, must be quite accurate. So, it, it, it normally would machine it, bore it, cu uh, cut it off, machine the back and then do the thread. In this case, I opted to do the thread first because I wanted that to be running true uh, and save, save another setup. So what, I've, what I did was I machined outside diameters, did the knurling, I've trimmed here where I've got to cut it off. Um, I machined the bore. I then, behind where the thread finishes, I deepened the bore uh, and made, made, a, made a channel in behind so that there'd be some run through for the threading. And the threading uh, I did with this uh, Kenan metal um, uh, in, insertable um, holder and I use these insert the top notch uh, threading inserts excuse me <coughs> excuse me and use them uh, I got those this morning to, to do the job because all my other ones weren't deep enough uh, big enough to do this thread and so progressively cut the thread and I'll show you how that's done quickly um, and finished the thread off and now all that's left I've, I've done all the facets inside the 45 degree cut that they wanted this this uh, part to the depth and uh, I'll now um, trim it and uh, trim the end cut it off trim the end back make sure that that back side is completed and uh, job done so I'll quickly show how I operate the threading I, I have the lock I have the half nut locked at all times I have a forward and a reverse on my um, on my saddle, so it's very easy. Uh, with this, I was running at um, at 280 rpm. Uh, I was cutting the thread at 280 rpm uh, with the um, uh, with the with the tip sticking out to 70 millimeters. I needed to cut here 35, so that gave me room to clear and come back again and go in again. So I'll just do a brief dummy just to show how I was doing the cutting. I just run the tool in and when I got through, I just run it out again. Had it set on the on the DRO so I could come in, uh, mark the next cut and do the same thing again. I just come through. Finish the cut, and out again. I always come back a fair bit in order for, especially with these large threads. Um, we'll bring that back to zero where it was before. With the large threads, you want a bit of time for the lead screw and everything to take up uh, and not be too close because otherwise it might jump the thread. You just cut through the cut, spin around, and come back out again and worked away till I got the thread completed um, and, and that, that was it I can disengage this because I've finished the thread now and that thread now is complete that screws in nicely And this, this obviously, this gauge will be, will be whatever it fits onto, will be used to, to gauge uh, and set whatever it is that they need to set to, to that, um, uh, that dimension. Thank you.